Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is kth largest element in an array. So very basic problem. Uh, in this problem we are given array and an integer k. Return the kth largest element in the array. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. So uh, in the array we have duplicate elements also. Okay. For example, if we see this array. what we need to do basically is we need to return the kth largest element so second largest element 6 is the largest element and 5 is the second largest element so second largest element is 5 hence the output is 5 okay so let's see this test case which we saw right now what we need to do was we need to return the second largest element why second because k is 2 so see guys how you can do it one simple approach which directly comes into mind is do sorting we will sort the array so we will sort the array in descending order because we need to find the largest element right you can do it in uh, ascending order also then the largest element will go at the end but right now i am here sorting in the descending order that is from largest to smallest so first of all uh, we will sort it Uh, so six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is how the array will be sorted. And now, what will be the second largest element? Let's do indexing. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So second largest element will be this one, which is index one. So since this is zero based indexing, right? So let's say this array is nums. So nums of k minus one will be the our answer that is nums of what is k 2 minus 1 1 so nums of 1 is what 5 hence output is 5 right similarly what we can do let's see this test case so in this test case we need to return the fourth largest element we will be sorting this array so 6 5 5 4 3 3 2 1 so what will be the fourth largest nums of k minus 1 4 minus 1 3 so nums of 3 0 1 2 3 so this is nums of 3 and this is the our output that is the fourth largest element this is the first largest this is the second largest these are same right so we will take it only once and this is the so we will sorry we will not take it once we do not have to return the distinct right it's see here we do not have to return the distinct element we have to just return the largest element in sorted order so if if it would have been so, uh, distinct right then 3 will be the answer but right now here there is no uh, not distinct so this will be the first largest second largest third largest and this will be the fourth largest so output will be 4 okay So I hope you understood this approach. Very simple approach, right? We are doing just simple sorting. So sorting is n log n time complexity. Let's quickly see the code for this. Okay. So see, what we are doing? Just we are doing sorting, and we write when we write greater int here. So it's sorted in descending order, and then we are just simply returning nums of k minus one. Easy, right? but there is one more optimized approach which is used like see whenever there is sorting right try to think of using a heap also okay try using a heap also so in heap there are two types of heaps right max heap and min heap okay here you might be thinking that see we have to get the kth largest element right whatever the largest element is and we know max heap always gives us the largest element so we can use a max heap to get it so let's see the test case i am taking this test case only 3 2 1 5 4 and 6 right uh, and we have to is k is equal to 2 it's 5 6 4 5 6 4 yeah So what we will do? We will take a max heap. So first of all, we will insert all the elements in the max heap. 
थ्री वी विल इंसर्ट टू वी विल इंसर्ट ओके सो इन द मैक्स ही राइट एट द टॉप एट द टॉप ऑफ द मैक्स ही लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट विल बी देर सो वेन वी इंसर्ट ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स इन द मैक्स ही समथिंग लाइक दिस विल बी देर सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन द लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट विल बी एट द टॉप ओके लार्जेस्ट विल बी एट द टॉप turn by turn we will uh, add the like the elements first we'll add 3 then we'll add 2 so once first we add 3 then we add 2 so they will rearrange because 3 is greater than 2 so this time right rearranging time is log of n where n is the number of elements number of elements which are getting rearranged okay so that means for example let's say we are inserting in the max heap first we insert 3 then we insert 2 at the last right we will insert 4 so when we will insert 4 something like this will be there in the max heap 6 5 3 2 1 will be there right so when at the last we will insert 4 we'll have to rearrange all these four will come here so then means that insert uh, inserting will be n log, uh, log of let's say total elements in this array is n so log n will be the time because there are n elements okay okay so uh, after we have inserted all these elements in the max heap right so now we need to get the kth largest element this is at the top of the max heap is the first largest second element is the second largest this is the third largest okay so basically what you can do if you want to know the uh, second largest remove this from the top and this second will be the second largest element fourth largest will be remove this remove the third largest and this three will be the fourth largest element okay so basically this is max heap approach which is very simple what we just do is we insert see what is the algorithm we insert all the elements insert all elements in max heap and then what we do is we pop k minus 1 times k minus 1 times from the max heap and then after that after popping the top of the element whatever the as is at the top of the max heap will be the top of the max heap will be our kth largest element try to dry run this algorithm okay this is basically now what will be the time complexity see we were going to each element right and we were adding it in the max heap so we saw that insertion time adding in the max heap is log n and this log n time like every time we go to any of the element we are inserting right that in the max heap so we go to each element and for each element we are doing this log n time log n work right so time complexity will be n log n space complexity will be what o of n because we are storing these all n elements in the max heap okay so this is max heap approach but guys see this max heap approach also can be further optimized you can use this approach also it will definitely work but there is one more optimized approach which is time complexity n log of k and space complexity o of k this is the most optimized approach most optimized and this approach uses min heap min heap okay see whenever we uh, see these kind of problems right kth largest like largest greatest maximum directly we think of using max heap but the optimal solution in these kind of cases right is use uh, using min heap how let's see that okay let's see that so what i will be doing is let me write the test case again so 3 2 1 5 6 4 3 
k is what 2 i will take a min heap and you all know that min heap always has the minimum element at the top so whatever is at the top will be the minimum element among all the other elements which are in the min heap okay so what we will do right what the plan is that always always in min heap sorry my spelling min heap always in the min heap we will have k elements only k elements we will always have in the min heap so from this it's very clear that if there are always k elements in the min heap then space complexity will be o of k this is very simple right so now the question is from how we will get to know from this strategy what is the kth largest element what is the approach for that so now let's discuss that okay space complexities i hope it's, it's uh, clear that why it's o of k because we only have uh, k elements in the min heap so let's say we are taking the min heap and first of all we will store all the k elements like the first k elements first k elements first k elements in the min heap we will store so 3 and 2 first of all 3 will be stored then 2 will be stored so since 2 is smaller than 3 it will come at the top because this is a min heap now guys see we will start from here because we have already included the first k elements this one is smaller than this two the top of the this is what this is the top of the min heap so do you think we what we need to find we need to find the largest element right we need to find kth largest element so is it any benefit to include this one in the min heap we have to find the largest element and this one is already smaller than the top of the min heap and obviously top of the min heap ha will have the smallest element in all the elements which are in the min heap so this top element will be the smallest of all which are currently uh, in the min heap so this one is already smaller than this two meaning it will be smaller than all the other elements in the min heap right so there is no benefit of including this one in the min heap because we need to find the largest elements right so what what's the benefit so we will go further now see this 5 is greater than the top of the min heap this means this 5 is a might be a candidate for the largest element so what we will do we will remove this top element and we will add this 5 in the min heap but now since this is min heap it will arrange 3 smaller so it will come at the top 5 will go down so till now see till now till this array we have traversed this min heap contains the see guys how it's working min heap contains top k elements it contains the top k elements 5 and 3 top k large sorry largest elements right now let's move further and always see we are only having k elements every time in the min heap now we go to 6 now 6 is greater than the top of the min heap which is 3 so this 3 is not a good candidate 6 is more good candidate than 3 because 6 can be the largest right so we will remove this 3 we will add 6 and since this is a min heap it will arrange 5 will come here and 6 will go there now let's go for further 4 is it greater than the top of the uh, min heap no it's not greater so we will not add this 4 now see guys we in in our min heap we have two elements that is k elements and at the top of the min heap will be the kth largest element this is the first largest first largest and this is the second largest so we can just simply return the top of the min heap 
so this is a benefit of using min heap right first of all we are only storing k elements in the min heap so time uh, space complexity will be o of k time complexity how it's n log of k because first of all we are going to each element and for each element we are inserting it in the min heap so now in the min heap earlier insertion time was what earlier insertion time if you remember earlier insertion time was log of n because at maximum at the worst case there could be n elements in the max heap so we'll have to arrange the n elements in the worst case here in the worst case here in the worst case there will be only k elements so what will be the insertion time log of k so for n elements we are going uh, we are going to each n uh, elements and at each element we are insertion inserting in the min heap so it will be log k n log k will be the time complexity so space complexity and time complexity i hope you are clear with now let's discuss the code for this min heap approach max heap approach code is very simple where you can write it yourself so see we are taking this min heap uh, we are running a loop until size uh, size of the min heap is less than k that is there are uh, less than k elements first of all we are we inserted these elements right the first k elements we inserted in the min heap so if the size is less than k we will just simply insert in the min heap once the size is uh, equal to min heap right uh, so equal to k right for example here size was equal to k2 then when we came to 1 we will not in directly insert 1 here we will replace the minimum element if 1 is greater than the minimum element okay so if the current element is greater than the top of the element so this current element can be the largest element so we will pop the from the uh, min heap and we will add this element okay this is what we were doing and at last we will return the top of the min heap so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh here this is n let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you